If you're in the market for a gaming laptop, you're probably looking for something that gives you really good gaming performance while also having the added benefit of portability. And the Lenovo Legion Slim 7 gives you way more portability than most other gaming laptops. So Lenovo recently sent over their latest generation of the Legion Slim 7. It's a full-fledged gaming laptop and a much thinner and lighter chassis than you would typically expect for the level of hardware and the amount of performance you'll get out of this machine. But let's give you guys an overview of the specs before we jump in to that performance. So in terms of specs, you can either go with an AMD Ryzen 7 at 6800H or an AMD Ryzen 9 at 6900HX, which is what I have in this particular model. And both of those processors are eight core 16 threads. You just get a few hundred extra megahertz of boost clock out of that 6900HX. We can also then choose from two AMD graphics cards, either the 6600S with four gigs of VRAM or the 6800S with eight gigs of VRAM, and I have that 6800S in this model as well. And when it comes to the display, you can choose from two 16 inch 165 Hertz panels, one at 1920 by 1200, peaking out at 300 nits, and also getting 100% sRGB coverage, or you can go with the 2560 by 1600 version that is IPS and goes up to 500 nits with again 100% sRGB coverage and HDR400 support. And when it comes to memory, you can get up to 24 gigs of 4800 megahertz DDR5 with eight gigs soldered and one DIMM slot available for an extra up to 16 gigabytes. And we have 16 gigs on this particular model. And when it comes to the battery, we get a 71 watt hour battery with the capability of super rapid charging to 100% capacity in 80 minutes of charging and up to 70% in 30 minutes. And we also get Wi-Fi 6E support and Bluetooth 5.1 for those maximum transmission speeds over Wi-Fi. The Legion Slim 7 is an all AMD powerhouse with up to that Ryzen 9 at 6900HX delivering peak CPU performance in a laptop. And then we also get the Radeon 6800S, which delivers really, really nice graphics. So when it comes to gaming performance, we should see really, really nice numbers out of this machine. Now the 6800S is more of an efficiency focused graphics card, only drawing right around 100 watts compared to something like the RTX 3070 Ti that's in the Legion 5 Pro that pulls up to 150 watts. So with that more efficiency focused mindset, we're trying to keep temperatures down in one of these thinner chassis like we have in the Legion Slim 7. But let's jump into some of the other features and added benefits of a slimmer, more portable laptop like the Slim 7. Let's first take a look at the keyboard and trackpad setup on this laptop. So overall, even in a laptop this thin, we're still able to get a keyboard with up to 1.3 millimeters of travel on the keys. Now that is extremely nice. It makes the typing experience super clean and very much more of that gamer feel on this laptop. And the keyboard is also a little bit more subdued than some other gaming laptop competitors, not focused on the RGB, but just keeping it with a clean white backlight. And when it comes to the trackpad, although you might not be using it in long gaming sessions, you're still going to want to use it when you're, when you're using the Legion Slim 7 more as just a laptop, more of like a work laptop or a school laptop. And it is extremely nice, very nice size, very smooth, super accurate, no complaints when it comes to either the trackpad or the keyboard. Uh, on some other larger laptops, you're going to get more travel out of the keys, but this keyboard still felt really, really nice on the Slim 7. And because this laptop is more portability focused, it's very much a blend between the person that needs it for pure gaming and somebody that's also going to use it for work or school. It also comes with a 1080p webcam and the webcam is really nice along with the microphone array. So let's check that out. So overall, the camera actually does look really, really nice with that 1080p resolution, much better than some other competitors with a 720p webcam. Overall, very much usable for class or work, whatever you're using it for outside of gaming. And the microphone array is very nice as well. And also feeding into the persona of this laptop of more of a full focused, well-rounded gaming laptop. We also have a really, really nice speaker setup 
on this machine. Not just downward firing speakers like you might find in some other gaming laptops. We also have the entire row above the keyboard dedicated to speakers built by Harman. So we're getting a really, really nice sound out of this machine as well. And before we jump into what I consider one of the bigger flaws with the Legion Slim 7, let's first take a look at the overall design and aesthetic of this machine. Overall, it is super clean, very much subdued, like I mentioned with the keyboard, when it comes to the overall design of this laptop. Very clean, very modern. Overall, you get the thin chassis and the Legion kind of logo is very subdued on the back. So you wouldn't really notice it as a gaming laptop. If you were to first see it, you would just kind of think of it as a large 16 inch laptop that could be used for business or for gaming or for whatever the purpose is of owning this machine. But overall, you just get this really nice matte storm gray or onyx gray in some versions, aluminum finish that just feels really nice, looks really nice. Overall, no complaints when it comes to the looks of this machine. But now it's time to jump into that flaw that I was kind of alluding to when it comes to the Slim 7, and that is port selection. Over on the left of the machine, we get two USB Type-C, USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports with up to DisplayPort 1.4 capabilities and up to 135 watts of power delivery. We also then get on the right side, one 4-in-1 SD card reader, as well as an electronic e-shutter and audio jack. And then on the back of the laptop, we get one DC input for our main power source. We then also get one USB Type-A 3.2 port, uh, another USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 port, and one HDMI 2.1 port. So we do have that HDMI, and we also have the DisplayPort capable Type-C ports, which should open up the realm of being able to use multiple external monitors. We also get two USB type A ports, which should be plenty for an external keyboard or a mouse that you wanna plug in when docking this thing and using it as a true gaming machine. But I would have loved to see ethernet. Lenovo probably could have fit one of those folding jacks on the back in order to open up some more connectivity possibilities for this device. Uh, the SD card reader is also a nice add-on, really opens up the door to more of the creative type folk that wants to use this for both gaming and more of that work focused laptop. Overall, the port selection isn't terrible. I might have oversold that it's a big problem, but overall, I would have liked to see an additional couple of ports, maybe one more USB type A and that ethernet jack on this machine. But if you're going for a thin portable laptop, you have to, of course, give in on some of those ports. And finally, when it comes to serviceability and repairability, I already kind of referenced it, but the RAM, at least half of it is soldered on to the board and you also get that one open dim slot. So not the most upgradable when it comes to that. You can only go up to 24 gigs of RAM by adding an extra 16 gig DIMM, whereas the other eight is soldered onto the board. Not the best setup in my mind, but there has to be some compromises made in order to keep the laptop thin and light. And the other piece is that it's actually really, really nice and laid out on the inside. Lenovo gives you a full rundown of all of the different screws on the inside of the motherboard in order to eventually service it and replace anything that you would need to down the line. So overall an A plus there. But now it's time to jump in to the performance of the Legion Slim 7. Can we cut down on the thickness and weight of a machine that much and still get good performance out of it to the level that you would expect out of a gaming laptop? The answer is yes, but let's jump into the actual details of that performance. So let's first take a look at CPU performance, especially since we have this Ryzen 9 6900HX. So when it comes to CPU performance off of the DC power, just on battery power, which takes us out of that performance mode. So you have three different settings on the Lenovo Legion laptop. So you can either go with whisper mode, silent fan noise, balanced mode, a mix of fan noise and your performance. And then you just have pure performance mode. So because of that, we limited ourselves to a score of 10,000 in uh, Cinebench R23. But when we do plug into that DC power, we get that full 230 watts being pumped in to this machine. We're looking at much closer to what you would expect from a 6900HX. 
and you were able to pump out a score of 14,447, which is a very, very competitive score, even with the thinness of this laptop. And when we take a look more at the overall cooling performance, running this thing through a full Cinebench and Fermar kind of stress test, both the GPU and CPU getting hit at 100%, we were looking at right around 91, 92 C max on the CPU and right around 94 C on the GPU. Now, both of those numbers sound high, very much expected with this hardware. It's very much within the range of this hardware when it comes to temperatures, but still relatively high. So if you were to have a better cooling laptop, a thicker laptop, you would definitely see those temperatures drop and maybe you would be able to get a few more gigahertz or megahertz of clock speeds out of both the GPU and the CPU for longer durations. But overall, like I said, we're, we're seeing really good performance still, especially in quick punchy workloads. So overall, no real complaints when it comes to CPU performance or temps. But the big test, of course, of a gaming machine is how well does it game? And when we threw it in to a cyberpunk benchmark, kind of the most demanding thing you could throw at a gaming laptop, running it at all high settings at full 2560 by 1600 resolution. And we also turned on Fidelity FX uh, super resolution in order to make sure that we gave it a competitive advantage to a DLSS enabled NVIDIA version of a Legion laptop or any gaming laptop out there. And with that turned on performance mode, again, all high settings, the full resolution, we were able to pick up a final FPS in the mid 80s with lows around 56 and highs around 120. So we're not taking full advantage of that a full 165 hertz refresh rate that we get with this monitor or with this display built into the laptop, but overall still a really nice gaming experience, high end FPS in a game like Cyberpunk. And not to mention the screen looks amazing. The color accuracy, the HDR performance at 500 nit peak brightness, definitely you can, you can see it in this display. Overall, a really, really nice gaming experience, both in terms of FPS, as well as the color accuracy and vibrancy of the image on the screen. Overall, it's one of the most well-rounded gaming laptops on the market. You one, get really good gaming performance as we just saw in games like Cyberpunk, you also get really good CPU performance as well as GPU performance in order to manage some of those professional oriented tasks, video editing, uh, rendering, things like that. You can get dual purposes out of this machine. Overall, the portability, the size, the design, it all speaks to somebody that's not just looking to game on their gaming laptop, but also do other things, whether that be for school or for work. Now you might be limited when it comes to port selection. You might not be able to upgrade it to the peak when it comes to RAM. But overall, those downsides definitely don't outweigh the upsides when it comes to this machine. It's a fully portable, relatively lightweight gaming laptop that really makes a case for itself when it comes to a future laptop upgrade. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, definitely get subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.